Hello YouTube, JediMon2005 here uh, with a review of uh, the villain figures from uh, the first wave of TMNT 2012, uh, the new Nickelodeon show. Um, so we have um, the Krang, because it's it's a Krang, I guess, or one of you know, one of the Krang of a foot soldier, and we have uh, the Shredder or uh, Kilowog or John Stewart, Martian Manhunter, and like eight other characters in Young Justice because Kevin Mecca Richardson and he voices like everything ever. So, um, and I have no joke to the other voice actors and we'll get those done quickly and out of the way early. Um, in any case, what we have here is uh, the three villains, like I said. So let's do their boxes. Uh, Krang first. We can see they added an A to make it different. Uh, extra dimensional enemies of Earth. Includes removable brain, so we will show that um, and fun things we can do with it. Um, they do uh, in this show come from Dimension X, like they did in the original show, as opposed to being, and they are villains and a race of villains, as opposed to being uh, a one um, entity that was a brain because he'd had his body taken away. Um, Warlord from Dimension X in the original 87 show, and being the nice guy Utrams from the 2003 show. They've kind of been fused together to some degree to make this. And we can see the little android body and then the little brain on the bio, uh, the figure wave. Uh, next is Foot Soldier, evil ninjas, loyal to the shredder, with ninja arsenal. They all have a ninja arsenal, because they're all ninjas, I guess. Um, so we have his bio back here, or I guess their bio back here, since there's, you know, uh, they're a group. And then finally, the Shredder, deadly leader of the evil Foot Clan, with battle armor. That's right, battle armor. Um, and his bio on the back here, Oroku Saki, um, right there. So, okay, let's uh, take a look at the Shredder first. Um, so here we have big guy, big, he has no pupils, which really concerns me because I feel like he's supposed to have pupils and it looks kind of freaky and ghost-like. Um, but we can see uh, the familiar Shredder helmet, right? I mean, that's pretty much fairly unchanged in, you know, 20 some odd years. Um, his shoulder armor, which as I'm doing right now, because I have a nervous habit of doing it, is going up and down. Um, his arm armor here with the claw. Uh, this chest plate uh, on the back, uh, this leg armor here, which doesn't move because it's attached to his leg. It's not like a, a hip guard or anything, it's just molded on. And then this leg armor down here, um, there's no uh, knee articulation here, so this is just all one leg and it can just do this and up and down. So he has more leg motion than April. Um, he does have an elbow joint, right, um, and his wrists can turn. Um, his arms can go up, and the shoulder pad, as we see, goes with it, and they go up this way as well. Um, the head can turn, so you can look over at turtles, um, you know, and stare them down. Now, he comes with a couple of weapons. Um, this sword, just a standard katana. I'm not really sure why, because the, the, idea, the idea of Shredder with weapons is makes me torn, because I like swords, but I'm like, bro, you have these claws. Like, that that can be your weapon. Um, and then he has these two evil-looking shuriken right here that he comes with. Um, and, and his weapons are loose. They're not, like, on a tray or anything. Um, and then we have the foot soldier um, taking a cue from the designs in the uh, movie. And uh, I think a little bit from the O3 show. They kind of have, you know, they have this the big eyes, the bandana with the foot logo on it. Um, this... Like, like they're strapping, I guess, the, the sword holders to themselves. I don't know. Um, he does have arm, shoulder joints up and down and out and back. He has not have an elbow joint, but he does have a wrist swivel. Um, no knee joint for him, but he does have this waist swivel thing going on. That's pretty weird. And then uh, the legs can go out, and they can also go up and down. Um, we can see on the back, this actually came as a separate piece that I stuck on there, so let's pull it out. Um, just like I showed with um, Leonardo's sword holder, it just kinda sits in the back there. So, like this, 
Um, he comes with this short little dagger thing that slides into this holder, and then a katana of his own, which slides into that top holder, and we'll put this one in his hand so he can go attack people there. Um, he also has ninja stars of his own. I don't know why he just fell over. Um, just simple, standard shuriken. Nothing really overly elaborate about them or freaky looking. Just a standard ninja star that you throw at people um, or you get it stuck in Butter's eye. Now, finally, this guy who was laying over, because I can't really get him to stand properly with these feet, um, the Krang. So we can see the Krang is in this spindly uh, android body, Terminator-esque looking thing here. Um, we can see the face. It's really freaky looking. I'm going to be honest. There's like pink everywhere, and that just makes me scared. Um, he's got these thin arms right here. Um, there's no um, elbow joint, and it just goes up and down uh, at the shoulder. This will fold out, but that's mostly working off of the shoulder joint, not an elbow um, or wrist or anything like that. No knee joints. The legs are pretty much stuck in this position. You can just move them back and forth right here. Um, and he's got these feet, um, you know, little like bladed looking feet thing, like robotic feet. Um, here's the little Krang. He comes out, right? So he is, uh, if I had to give him a size, um, back in the 87 toy line, several years in, they made a Krang's android body figure. He looks to be about that size, except he's not a hard plastic like that Krang is. He's this soft rubber. As you can see, I can squeeze his face in. He does have all these little tentacles that are kind of creepy <laughs> like because they're just like rubbery and they shake and bounce and he's got this face like I'm crazy uh, I'm attached to you he is hollow underneath and you can do this with him and I just think it's hilarious to me like I don't know maybe that's because I act like a child and you can bend him inside out <laughs> and so like all his tentacles fold in and uh, what not I don't know it's like a pencil topper is what he is he's, he's <laughs> they, they made a pencil topper of Krang and put it in the action figure so that's kind of cool, to me anyway. Um, and then he just will sl pop back in. Like he's not as big as the crane that came with the Bubble Walker, and of course that was also a hard plastic. Um, but I think that might have been hollow underneath too, or at least a little bit. I don't remember too well. I'd have to go find him. But he's more about the the size of the android body crane. So it's a little bit bigger because that one was tiny and had to fit in that thing's like tiny little midsection. This is a little bit bigger than that. Um, but same type deal. Um, as with the android body. Um, so we have to try and get him to stand. Oh, he comes, his weapons. He has these two ray guns. Um, this one right here, this little smaller one. Like, and these are like pretty evil looking weapons. Like, I would be terrified if somebody pointed this at me, for reals. Um, and then this one here, they both have a blade at the end. Um, right here. And then we can put that one in the other hand. And now he's like ready to just like come attack turtles and like shoot people and damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, as we can see, I, these like weird feet that he has are making it really hard to stand. And we'll just lean him over again. But um, all right. So oh come on, don't get hooked onto him. There you go. Damn it, foot soldier. Now you're just making me angry. So anyway, um, these are good figures, if even if they do have less articulation, for whatever reason. Uh, then the Turtles, are, I can definitely say to get Shredder, obviously, you know, Shredder to go with the Turtles. That's just kind of obvious. Um, the Krang, I think, is pretty cool, even if he can't stand well. I just like the little brain thing. And um, actually, I wonder, let's see. Let's, do, let's see if I can do this right quick. Because this thought just occurred to me. Let's get him out. And I dropped him. Um, great, and I gotta find, oh, there he is. Okay, so, um, in the, one of the promos we saw, Crank is Michelangelo. Let's we'll see if we can plug him onto Mikey's head, like in the thing. That'd be cool. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So we got, <laughs> he doesn't stay on too well, though, but, uh, if we really want to, we can, like, plug him onto Michelangelo's head. And 
Now Mikey's going to get all slimy. So that was fun. Um, and it just thought of me, just dawned on me to do that. So um, then, although, oh, I don't think I showed this, but this thing's head can move, which seems kind of odd. And actually, it can move up and down too. It seems kind of odd because it's a robot body being controlled by the little brain. But anyway, um, and the foot soldier, normally those, the, I guess, the kind of guys that you would, you know, army build with, buy several of them. But, like, at $9 a pop, that can get expensive pretty fast. So, uh, that's more of like a, ooh, look, they're on clearance type of uh, decision. But, um, they're pretty cool, and I can definitely say to get them if you like turtles and you want the whole wave or whatnot. And not. So, um... Until next time, you can check out RidersRangerRambles.com for the latest Toku news and as much turtle news as we physically can bring you uh, in the craziest way possible. Uh, and as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!